America faces. Um, drugs that are legal are abused. Oxycontin, Vicodin, they're just abused over and over again and lead to the same kinds of addictions as heroin and crack cocaine and other very, very serious illnesses. And so we have to fight on all fronts. And we've made some progress. Um, I was able to get the FDA a few months ago to ban generic Oxycontin because the, um, uh, the type they were doing could be crushed up and snorted and shot, and that was no good. But there's a lot more to do, and we keep studying it. And here's one of the things we have learned, that burglars, robbers, when they go to a home, they often go to rob the prescription drugs on the shelf, where they would tell people, instead of keeping it on your shelves, bring it back to us, bring it back to your local pharmacy, and they'll know how to deal with these pills. Don't flush it down the toilet, which people don't like to do. They paid a lot for these pills. Don't flush it down the toilet, because as Adrian can tell you, it can become an environmental problem. It can. It's an event. But just, that's, there's no reason why local qualified officials and certified families, uh, pharmacies should be, should find it so difficult. You can only imagine how many pills found in medicine cabinets got into the wrong hands. So the DEA has to change the rules to make it easier for local pharmacies if they want to do take-back programs. So today, I'm sending a letter to the DEA that says, change the rules, which you're thinking about, do it quickly, and get these take-back programs into high gear. Because our local pharmacies that want to participate in take-back programs should have the option to do what some people do. We have one aquifer in Long Island. If everybody dumped their pills into the aquifer, we could have real problems with our drinking water. So that's not a good way to go. As the Senator okay. mentioned, so. and prescriptions are a growing problem um, in our drinking water, and we must make sure that people know they cannot flush and they cannot throw them away. So allowing pharmacies to take back prescription pills is a win-win-win for our community. A win for public safety, a win in the fight against addiction, and a win to protect our drinking and service waters. And I applaud. As long as I don't have to spell indefatigable, I'll be okay. Just spell Esposito. No. <laughs> um, another reason, in addition to public safety, uh, to promote safe disposal is also to protect our environment and public health. You may or may not know, but uh, when these uh, prescription drugs are flush, they get into our waterways. According to the USGS, 80% of America's waterways have one or more prescription drugs uh, found in them, in trace amounts. In Long Island alone, we have 40% of groundwater samples that were taken in 2007 also had one or more prescription drugs. The most common being anticonvulsant, followed by antibiotics, followed by codeine, and then caffeine. So these trace amounts of drugs are getting into our drinking water supply. We believe that a cold glass of iced tea should be to refresh you, not to add Xanax, Lipitor, and Viagra into our bloodstream. We think that prescription drugs should be dispensed by a doctor, not by the faucet. The bottom line, and we applaud the Senator for calling on the DEA to change and modernize the regulations. They've been doing this for three years. We need the process to conclude. The public pe uh, comment period ended in February of this year. When the changes are made, we are hopeful that the DEA will agree that pharmacies can voluntarily act as drop-off points for unwanted and unneeded prescription drugs. Getting this out of the waste stream is an environmental and public health benefit. It really is a win for everybody. Having pharmacies act as disposal options is a safe, easy, controlled way to get drugs off the streets and into a, a safe disposal option. So we applaud it. Thank you so much. Thanks, we appreciate it. And Adrian made a point that I left out, which is they've been saying they're going to do these regulations to make the, not the buyback program, that they have to create a new program which I'm urging them to do. By the way, 